All right, so here's the former UFC flyweight champion, the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, first Mexican-born UFC champion, and remarkably made his pro debut all the way back in 2011 in Tijuana when he was 17 years of age. I mean, a baby. The guy was a baby. And still today, proven to be one of the best fighters in the world. He has a tremendous skill set, great grappling, great wrestling, great boxing, unbelievable cardio. And that Mexican spirit, that fighting spirit that carries him through the tough times. I will stand out here on a limb and tell you, I did not expect this from Brandon Moreno. Yeah. But to see him overachieve has truly been something special. Let's see if he gets the job done tonight. And, of course, as many of you know, he is now training in the United States of America. And that, of course, has led to some big results of late. Huge spot for the assassin baby Brandon Moreno here tonight. Well, Scousers don't get knocked out, and that has been the case for Patty Pimblett, at least to this point in his UFC career. Outstanding pedigree coming in, and he's got another big fight in front of him tonight, DC. And he's going to continue to get big fights, because when you have that thing, when you have that it factor about you, people want to tune in. That is what Patty Pimblett has in spades. But not only can he fight, not, I'm sorry, but not only can he draw people in, the guy can fight. He's a tremendous grappler, and he has confidence like not many guys that we've seen at such a young age in their career. And don't let the out-of-camp body composition fool you, because this man has a work ethic that rivals anybody in this division. Huge spot for Patty Pimblet tonight. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected, and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Lightweight champion of the world, Patty the Patty Pimblett. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Go. All right, well, it has been a rapid rise to UFC prominence for the Liverpudlian Patty the Batty Pimblett. Standing room only, capacity crowds when he fights. And as far as this matchup is concerned, a lot of people feel like he might be up against it. Pimblett does not want to hear that noise. He said, if the fight goes to the ground, I am a much more willing and able grappler than any of you realize. And of course, if the fight's on the field, I got the power and the speed advantage to put this guy away. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, oh he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Patty Pimble. Now he's going full mount. Great submission defense on this play tonight. We cross the midpoint in round one. Making all these shots count. Uh. 
Pimlet's in half guard. Use your elbows, use your elbows. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. <clears throat> Big right hook there by the champ. <clears throat> Are right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Moreno's right back to the full mount here. Great defense by this fighter. Nice. Big ground and pound. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. The ground strike starting to pile up. Trying to finish this fight. Is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheeks. Head to the head, lands plus there by Moreno. Another shot to the head. Lands a big elbow there. Nice punch back over the top. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Just misses with the left hook. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice target change and him attacking the body. This could be it. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going into the eye. He needed to address this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. Moreno's in half goal. Nice shots landing from the top position. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Side control now. Pimlet's right back to the full mount. Oh, big shots from the top. when Lance is trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All 
right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Unable to land with that punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Moreno gets caught by the straight punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. significant stat in this fight has been body strikes and at times in the past maybe you could say he's been a headhunter but tonight he has worked the body to great effect and those are really starting to take their toll it's the elbow there what a beautiful high kick that lands there Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Whiffs on the right hand. Reno gets the single leg takedown. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Moreno. All oh, right to the mouth. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Moreno's back in full mount. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. He's gotta start throwing down. Nicely done. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this back by Patty Pimble. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Boom! Body kick right there. Landed perfect. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five. Oh, a beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Forte, forte. 
All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He has to... Oh. This is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. That is it. Oh, my goodness. Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC lightweight champion of the world.